Hello guys, welcome to another Hitvin tutorial. This I was saying that this time we What's wrong with my screen? Ah, it's just that this is the screen shaking tutorial. This time we're gonna use the shaking effect applied to some background music to create a video like this. Watch that shaking. If you're watching this video from YouTube, remember, in the video description, you will always find a link to our full health film tutorial playlist. If you click on that, YouTube will take you to the complete tutorial playlist we are creating in Hit Film Express. Let's come back. Well, this is gonna be very easy. Let's open our Hit Film. Hit Film is in a composing workspace. As we need the trimmer, it will be necessary to go from the compositing workspace we are now to editing click on editing now we have the trimmer let's create the shaking video let's go to import click this pc videos and let's select one this will be okay let's open this let's preview this video i like it let's select a moment like here let's play this Okay, I would like to start this moment. So this could be the setting point. We play this for a while. Over here too. Let's play this. This is enough. So set out point and from this 20 minutes long video, we're going to select a 41 seconds clip. So let's Click on this and drag it to the timeline. Wanna change the editor sequence? No, I don't. So, no. Let's zoom in this a little. And let's preview this video. Click. Okay. I don't wanna use this music. I would like to add another background music. Remember, this is the video track. The video track. And this is the audio track. There are many ways to mute the original audio of this video. You can move this bar like this, reducing its volume, its level, or you can also just click on this icon. Clicking on this, you disable the sound, the original sound of this video. If you play this, you listen anything. Position the marker at the beginning. And now let's add our own music. Let's import, click on import. This PC, music, and let's import Michael Jackson. Double click. And this is the song. Let's preview this. Okay, I'm going to select a part of the song. I would like to do this at the 20 minutes, like over here. And this could be the setting point. So let's click here. Let's play this. Okay, let's import this. Drag it to a new audio track. So let's insert an audio track. You right click over here, insert track, and there will be a second audio track. Audio 2, I like that name. So press enter. And let's drag this section of the song, click and drag it to the timeline, to the second audio track. Now watch and listen our video. Play this. Okay, so we are blending the original video with a new background song. Now it's time to make this video shake. So we want this video to shake at the rhythm of the song. Let's preview this again. 
and pay attention to the sun. That moment. Again. There, I wanna shake him. So I position the marker, select the video, and going to use this slice tool. Click on this, and let's split the video like this. Play this. Okay, let's slice again. Split the video. Now here at this moment, I wanna shake him. How we do that? Shaking would be a visual effect. Here in hit film, obviously, you know how. You right click on the clip and then select make composite shot. And let's call this shake one composite shot. Okay, let's switch the workspace from editing to compositing. Click in this short clip of about two seconds is going to be shaking. We come here to the media panel and click on the effect tab. This one, click, and now we have all the effects. If you don't remember or you don't know where the shake effect is listed, you just click here in search effect and type shake. Then hit fill will show you where the shake effect is. This time it's on grunge. So we want this shake effect to be applied to this clip. Let's preview the clip. Very short. So let's make it shake. I just click on the shake effect and drag it to the video this way. And now let's adjust the shaking. You click on the drop down arrow. And you can see the controls you can use to adjust the shaking effect. You can see it here and also here. Drop down arrow and you can watch. Let's preview the shaking. It's just light, it's too smooth. Let's increase its amount like this. And now let's watch the shaking. It's too slow. Let's give it some more speed. Like this. And some more shaking. And now watch this. Play this. That's okay. So as we can see, we have now applied the shaking effect to this very short clip. Let's come back to the editor where we can see all the clips. Click on editor and this is all our video and this is the short, the shaking composite shot we have just created. Click at the beginning and let's play this. Very easy. That was our shaking effect. Okay, let's continue listen to the sound. Position the marker and let's play this. There I want to shake it. Position the marker a little bit before. Make sure to enable the slice tool. And let's slice this. Play a little. Okay, the slice tool again. Right click on this clip, head for make composite shot, let's call this shake to composite shot, okay? And remember, the shake effect is on, let's close this, it's on grunge, then you select shake and to apply to this short clip, you just click and drag it to the clip. Preview this. It's a very slight shaking effect, you can adjust as you want. I would like more amount and more speed. Let's preview this. Play. I like that. This is the shake 2 composite shot. Let's come back to the editor. So watch this. Let's play this. I want another shaking over here. Slice tool. Position the marker again. Clicking here. So to split the video, right click. Make composite shot. Let's call this shake three composite shot. Click on OK and let's click and drag the shaking effect to the video like this. And then use the controls. Let's increase the amount, the speed. Let's preview this. I like that. We have just finished our shake three composite shot. Come back to the editor to watch all the clips and let's continue editing the clips over here. I am the one. Using the slice tool, position again, the slice tool again, here, right click, make composite shot. I think this was the shake for composite shot, click OK, and let's apply the shaking effect to the clip. And let's adjust the amount a little more, more speed. Let's preview this. I like that. And let's come back to the editor. I click on this arrow until I see the editor. Click on the editor. Let's continue watching this video. 
here comes another shaking. So click on the slice tool, position the marker again, the slice tool again, and let's make this short area a composite shot. Right clicking, make composite shot, shake 5, composite shot, click on OK, drag the shaking to the video, and let's adjust the shaking, more amount, more speed. Let's preview this. Well, it's OK. Come back to the editor, clicking on this arrow till I see the editor and continue watching this video. Okay, a slice tool, clicking here, position the marker later, click on the slice tool again, right click on the clip, make composite shot, shake 6, composite shot, click on OK, drag the shake into the video, and let's adjust the setting, more amount, some speed, and let's preview this. Okay, come back to the editor. Here, play this. There. To split the clip. Position it later. Split the clip. Right click. Make composite shot. Shake 7. Composite shot. OK. And let's drag the shaking effect to the video. And let's adjust the shaking. We know how. That is all. Come back to the editor. Editor. And let's finish this video. Play this. I like at this moment, so I want to get rid of all this area of the video. I will again use the slice tool, click to split, I'm going to delete this, I just right click and delete, but there is still the sound, the audio we have just applied, use the slice tool, right click and delete the audio. Let's disable the slice tool and use the selection tool. I would like to apply some fading effect to the audio. You remember how? You press Ctrl and click on the bar to create a point. Do that again. Press and hold Ctrl, click on the bar to create a point, and then drag the final point to create some kind of fade out to the song. Listen to this. Listen. Too long. I'm gonna drag this point this way. Let's do the same at the beginning. Drag this. Press Ctrl, click on the bar to create a point. Again. And let's drag this point. So this is our video. It's a video of about 35 seconds. It's time to export. Go to export content. Go to export. I would like to set this video on. I need to click here. To set the folder. I like this one on my desktop. And to name the video. Tutorial 11 will be okay. Then save. I'm not exporting yet. The exporting will start here. Clicking on Start Sporting. If you drag this bar, you can see how HitFilm is now creating the MP4. Some seconds later, it will be done. Let's check that folder. It's on my desktop. Double click to open. And the file is Tutorial 11. It's an MP4 file. Double click to open. And here it is. So remember, the shaking effect is on the grunge group. That is all by now. This is Loving Share. See you in the next video.